So Sanjay, can you please let me know uh, what are the differences between local variable, global variable, and final variable, please? This, uh, first, I start with local variable. Local variable is the variable that we declared inside a method. And that local variable is only applicable or scope of that local variable only inside that method. And we cannot use local variable without initialization because local variable does not have any default value. And now if we go for global variable, global variable we declare directly inside a class, not inside any method. And the scope of this global variable is throughout the class. And we can use this global variable without initialization also. Why means because it has a default value. And the final variable. Final variable is a variable which is prefixed with the final keyword. And final variable cannot be changed its value once it is declared and initialized. Final variable? Ah, that is only. That is only. You can't change the value. Mm -hmm. Yeah, change the value. Is Can I use the final variable for both local variable as well as global? Yeah, Manish, we can use final variable, but uh, we cannot uh, make it changes. Mm. If I use the final variable for local, what does it mean? And if I use the final variable for global, what does it mean? Global variable, if I use final keyword, right? We are declaring there only, and we can use that inside a method or all over the class but we cannot change its value. Whatever the value is uh, de declaring and initializing at the start, that is the and local variable final we are making. And it is, we can use only in that method. In that hmm. method, you can use and uh, editing of, that means changing of its value is not possible. We can only method. use, yeah, read mm -hmm. option, not uh, write. Got it, understood. Can you show me practically how to make use of a assert keyword in Java? Ah, Is my screen visible, Manish? Yeah, yeah. Do you want me to print this statement or just uh, no, no, that's, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Whatever you're doing is fine. Go ahead. I'm not getting it. I need to print this, right? So I'm thinking like not using this directly if I use this as that keyword. No, I'm not getting this. Okay. Can you give mm. some other thing? Shall I, shall I guide you? Yeah. Okay. So, as of now, I'm going to run this. And since A is not greater than 18, it should not run. 
but it is running because by default assert keyword is disabled in your laptop so you have to go to run as run configuration you have to go to arguments and type hyphen ea and then run it so this is how to make use of assert keyword you remember this yeah man is like run config and where argument hyphen ea yeah Okay, that's fine. That's fine. No problem. That's, that's I fine. just run back from office. <laughs> that's why uh, take it easy. Take yeah. it easy. No problem. No problem. Can also tell me when to use extends keyword and when to use implements keyword in Java. Extends we use for inheritance mainly when class to class we use extend, class to hmm. class we use extend, and class to interface we use implements because abstract methods will be there in interface and we want to implement that by classes that time we will use implement interface to interface it will be extend because interface doesn't have any concrete class right it cannot implement it can only extend the interface. can i create a relationship between a uh, interface and a class no matter interface cannot got it that's right can you also tell me uh, how can i achieve multiple level inheritance in java multiple Multiple inheritance, not multiple levels, right? Multiple. Yeah, multiple. But multiple inheritance, we can achieve using interfaces only, Manish. We can't mm -hmm. achieve using classes. The reason is uh, we call that problem as a dimension problem. Because mm -hmm. if you think one child class have a two uh, parent class at the same level, whenever the child class have a constructor with super calling statement, that super calling statement will get an ambiguity problem to call which parent class constructor. That will mm -hmm. result in an ambiguity issue and create a diamond problem. This issue we cannot mm -hmm. face, we don't face in interface. So we can do that in interface. Got it. Use. Got it. Got it. Can you also tell me uh, what is the difference between for loop and while loop? Yeah, like major differences when we use for loop and while loop is whenever we know the condition and number of iteration, we will go mainly for for loop. And while loop, we will go for when the Condition iteration number of iteration we don't know that time we will go for while loop and for loop syntax we know like in the uh, for loop header only we know that initialization condition and increment everything we will do done while loop in the header we will only put the condition and increment we will done inside the implementation version flower braces got it understood can you also tell me uh, what's the major difference between uh, Throw keyword and throws keyword. Throw is used to throw a new uh, like exception. We use throw to uh, throw a exception that we will write inside a method like a body implementation. Throws hmm. is used to declare a imp uh, like exception that we write in a method header. One throw key can be uh, uh, like throw one exception, but throws key can handle multiple la uh, like declare multiple exceptions. Declare multiple exceptions. Got it. Can you also tell me uh, what are the exceptions that you have seen in Java till now? Like array index, out of bound exception, null pointer exception, input mismatch exception. There are like um, even synchronization exceptions we saw. And uh, hmm. if we saw like array index out of bound. Hmm. Okay. Still few more than that. Got it. Can you also talk about a uh, little bit about scanner class? What exactly it is? How how exactly this is helping uh, uh, automation developer? Uh, sorry, how exactly the scanner class is helping uh, developers uh, practically? Like before that, I'll add, I would like to add one more exception that is the arithmetic exception also. Now, oh. if I go to scanner class, man, scanner class is like user input. Like if I didn't use scanner class. And if I using normal variable, and whenever I need to change the input, I need to keep on adding extra variable, or I need to keep on changing it from a program. Instead of that, if I use scanner classes, I can view whatever input I want at each run without changing any code, just by giving a input. Scanner class, we know it is from java.util package. Scanner like scanner class doesn't have any. A non parameterized constructor, it will only have parameterized constructor. Mm. Yeah, it's a final class, also scanner is it. And scanner mm. helps us to like, uh, minimize the number of code lines, also. 
instead of giving multiple uh, values like uh, multiple variable declaring for each time we can give the inputs at a runtime it will reduce our time also and number of length of the code also got it can you also tell me some methods of the math class plus like math class have random and pi random pi min max identifying the minimum and the maximum then equals average okay this basic methods in this that's why uh can you write a program to copy the value of one array into another array like same order or reverse okay. if you can do reverse i'll be more happy <laughs> yeah, i can just go ahead go ahead is it a possible minute i thought i'm sharing and i was keep on typing this one. No, okay i'll do it one. once first if you want no no do no, do go ahead go ahead Now I done with this manage. Now I am yeah. giving like. Or did we reverse eighty seven sixty four fourteen twelve? Is it correct? Reverse. If you sorry. want, I can. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. This is looking better. This is looking better. Okay, that's great. Uh, can you also tell me uh, why uh, we have a concept in uh, Java like? Uh, Thread class and thread dot sleep. Or like, why we have this concept in Java? Thread dot sleep. Practically, if you think like uh, to slow down the process, like mm -hmm. in sometimes, like as per my knowledge, so I am running program uh, with some uh, practical like automation. If I'm doing, and my code is running very fast, and the browser opening is because we will create a synchronization problem at that time to make both the balance and to work properly. We use thread dot sleep. To reduce the like, speed of execution, so that we don't get the exception called session timeout exception. Got it. Can you also tell me what are the types of inheritance we have in Java, please? Single inheritance, uh, single level mm -hmm. inheritance. That means one child class will have one parent class, 
and uh, mm. multi le- multi level inheritance that mm. one uh, like one child pl- will have two parents at different level different level not in same level it will be different then mm. hierarchical uh, inheritance that means one parent will have two siblings of same level multiple mm. multi this uh, multiple uh, inheritance like one child plus will have two per class at the same level it will create as a diamond and a uh, last one hybrid it's a combination of single level multi level and hybrid got it uh any idea uh, why there is a concept like exceptional handling in java you know manish like if i don't have any like exceptional handling means uh, if i face uh, any exception that will terminate the program it, hmm. that won't allow us to run the program in order to avoid the termination we have exception handling like throws keyword or try catch block to avoid that to avoid got the it. termination of the program got got it uh that's all sanjay uh that's all from my side you have a good knowledge i could see that i also liked your confidence the way you are speaking i'm i'm really happy that uh, you have studied everything so i'm i'm really happy for that i can see that uh, you're able to justify the knowledge that you have so i'm really happy for that thank you manish